It's extortion, not a word we hear every day. It is growing globally and right here in Kansas, part of a Child Abuse, Abuse Prevention Month. Sedgwick County's Child Advocacy Center is working with these victims as well as police. Tonight, they invited parents to watch a film about the dangers of sextortion. Brandon Stitt was at the CAC today and tells us more about this. Brandon? Mike, Rachel, sextortion, you know, it's basically blackmail and it's usually targeted towards teenagers. And they, what it is is that someone pretends to have a romantic interest online and convinces that teen to share nude pictures or videos, and then they threaten to release those pictures if money isn't paid. It's led to horrible consequences, including suicide. That's why the Child Advocacy Center is helping to bring awareness to this dangerous problem. At Sedgwick County's Child Advocacy Center. It's Extortion, the Hidden Pandemic is the name of the movie that we're viewing tonight. To bring awareness about this global problem, something seen right here in Kansas. It's extortion is kind of a, it's a term that we use that it's anybody that, well, if they're trying to get something, it's extortion. So they're trying to extort usually uh, images of a child. And for a parent like Marlene, it's a concerning reality. My son knows how to use technology, sometimes even more so than me, to where he has to explain to me something. And to me, that was a red flag. And seeing the potential problem is a priority. They're going to be exposed to inappropriate content, even if we try to block so many things. Maybe their friend will show them something, or they run into something accidentally by clicking on the wrong link or typing in the wrong word. But you know, just knowing how to handle that situation. Which is why it's important to be involved in your child's life so you see the signs. I mean, if there's a teenager that does not want to be on the cell phone or doesn't want to be on the internet, that, that's a different clue. There's something going on that's out there in their life that they're scared of or embarrassed of and they don't want to be a part of. Dr. Pierman just said it's very important that you talk to your kids about this problem and if you see signs of depression or they seem uninterested in normal things, you might need to ask more questions.